Hello, today is February 13th and I'm here with uh, Luis Sensei and uh, we'll talk today about Eichiku no Kyoden. Eichiku has two kanji, A for shadow and Chiku for bamboo and Kyoden as you know is a teaching, is a particular set of instructions which was passed from teacher to student uh, generation over generation. Um, so this Eichiku no Kyoden represents or brings something quite interesting uh, from, from history, from our history. It was said that those were uh, techniques or even methods, if one could say, that were developed when horsemen would come and so uh, they would come to the village, to the, to the clan or to that uh, small uh, uh, people to, to that small village who, uh, whose people were there and so they would cut a very long bamboo um, rods and they would use these bamboo rods to keep the horsemen and the horse themselves away they wouldn't allow, they wouldn't let them to come to get near that, that village so what they would do is they would cut just in time just at, at that time, they wouldn't have them ready and uh, those were very long rods. They would have up to seven or eight meters of bamboo. And uh, what they would do is something very interesting. They would run. They wouldn't show the size of that rod. You can imagine if it was night, for example, they would put that rod, that, that staff or that instrument, if I am, but originally, a bamboo. They would put it like this by night and then they would run aiming the horsemen in such a way that it was quite difficult for the horsemen to see or to visualize what would be the size of what he was bringing up, of what they were bringing with them. Um, and so let's see once how it would be. If they were there, let's let's take this for many meters for a long distance and they would come and then stretch and then use the whole rod and enter now we shall say that we would not try to, to uh, try to reach or to attack the horsemen themselves what they would try to do is they would they would try to keep the horses away so they would uh, hit with those bamboo rods over the face over the over knees, over uh, over the legs uh, of the animal, and so they would uh, scare them and keep them away, keep them apart. And it was one of the thoughts they they had, and they developed over time uh, not to not to allow or to prevent them to to come close and to set their their formation. Uh, a long time, they begin to develop techniques using other kinds of weapon, as the as the Ari, as we will see, and uh, they also came to the um, to the point to, uh, to to try to defend themselves from attacks of the same kind. We will see that the usage or the kind of movement we'll do with the Ari it's different from the Jutsu itself. And uh, of course, the explanation for that is, is precisely this. It's the historical uh, context or the, the, the historical situation or picture uh, we have for that. So we can conclude from this that uh, these are simple techniques, this is a simple kyoden and a simple yet very effective thought and a very effective way to keep horsemen and to keep attackers uh, from uh, a village. So we have to uh, have in mind that this is something which has been passed along from teacher to student, from teacher to student and uh, brings us to that same idea, to that origin of a small town, uh, a village of people who uh, found their own ways to defend them, themselves. 
defend from the uh, the danger of that time.